I'm actually really excited for this haul video because I got a bunch of stuff I normally wouldn't pick up in Hummel's Town. Today, I'm gonna go through all of it. So first up, I got this sheet of die cut caps. Now, somebody mentioned that they had these stickers before and whereas they do make reproduction stickers, these are actually the original paper die cuts made in Germany. Now, on eBay, <laughs> there's certain ones that sold for $4 a piece, up to $13 a piece. I really have never seen a huge sheet of them like this. So I really am not sure how I'd like to sell them. Uh, I put them on eBay at what like I thought was kind of like full-blown retail starting at an auction at uh, $35, $39, which would bring me about like $34 after fees. And it didn't really get any bids. I mean, it's still got a couple days left, so we'll see. But uh, I'm a little uncertain about how I want to go about it. $4 was such a steal that I feel like, all right, just move them along. But also, I don't really want to break them up. Um, I'd like to sell them as the complete sheet just because it's kind of incredible to see this many variations in one place. Uh, so I'm still kind of on the fence about that. I love the, love the cowboy one. Oh my gosh, that one's so funny. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But all I know is for $4.25, this was a huge steal. I'm really in love with this dish. I only paid $2 for it. Honestly, I even went back and forth wondering if I should keep it myself. Um, I'm obsessed with this color of orange right now and the kind of contrasting colors are super fun. This is something you normally wouldn't pick up and especially because the size is so awkward, it will require like a bigger box and it's gonna require more padding. So more packing materials will be needed. I like to keep my boxes kind of small and uh, I would hate if someone Someone bought something else like heavy and I had to combine shipping on top of this just because I really would be upset if it broke but um, I need to have a little bit more faith in myself I'm a master packer but still uh, it's made in Japan I just thought it was so neat I couldn't resist I was kind of on a kick for uh, this kind of motif that day I also picked up these birds uh, this one was 325 and this one was three dollars uh, they were in such good condition that I couldn't resist. I mean, they practically look new, even though they're 1950s, uh, late 50s, early 60s, maybe, Japan. Um, but definitely, uh, definitely in pristine condition. A lot of the bird figurines I normally pass on just because it looks like um, they're more expensive, first of all, and uh, they don't sell for that much. Maybe I could have gotten a little bit more for them. I priced them pretty reasonably at like $11 each um, just because of the condition. But again, like if it hadn't been that good condition, I'm not sure if I would have been able to uh, get that much out of them. Speaking of something I normally don't pick up, I picked up a set of four white milk glass Fenton hobnail tumblers. I only paid $8.40 for the four of them, which is about what I'll get. Like, I'll get at least that for one of them alone after fees. The reason I was kind of hesitant, of course, to pick them up is because I like to sell things individually because when, like, if someone bought all four of these and let's say I had them at $10 a piece on my shop, then my shop ships free $35 and up in the United States. So I would definitely lose money on that um, because of the shipping. Although my shipping usually works out. Uh, the fact that it's free over 35 for the most. But every once in a while, there's one that gets me. And that's one of those scenarios. But when I saw that they had a discount on top of being $12, I was like, all right, come on now. Um, I think they're super fun. I love the hobnail effect. Uh, and I mean, $8 for four, who can resist? Next up, I got this super pretty vase. I only paid $5 for it. I absolutely love the pattern on it and the fact that it's got that luster to it and it's pink. And of course, the cute little cherubs on it. Just like a really different vase. Um, I don't normally pick things up like this because quite frankly, they're not usually this cheap. So for $5, I scooped it. Next up, I got these two pieces of pottery. Uh, they're made in Jerusalem. 
they were six dollars each which i felt like was super fair i was a little unsure about them but i just really liked their look and when i looked on ebay there weren't a lot um there wasn't this exact pattern there were other ones i thought the dog was kind of fun it kind of reminded me of like rocky and bullwinkle style and of course everybody loves a good owl and he's just got a great expression for six dollars each when i looked them up online uh, the prices were all between 19 and 24 although I didn't really see any information supporting that and sold so I'm guessing it came along somewhere but I priced mine a little bit less at 18 now do I think they'll sell at that I'm not sure but I didn't want to underprice it too much because I was like all right well there's 10 online in different patterns and they're all significantly more than that so um, that's kind of where I came up with that. I just think they were fun. They were different. And I was kind of on a kick of getting, you know, different stuff than I normally would. Speaking of different stuff than I normally would, I couldn't resist the look of this little vase. It is metal, which is interesting. I only paid $4 for it. It's kind of like art deco revival 1980s. Uh, I really like the shape of it and the colors, just everything about it is just neat and it's different and for $4 who could resist another thing <laughs> how many times can i say another thing i don't pick up i don't usually buy ladro now this one it was like the last thing i grabbed it was kind of neat the fact that it mounted on the wall instead of a standing figurine which is how i usually see them and it was only three dollars and 25 cents what i didn't notice when i picked it up is that it had a little chip now it's so small that i'm gonna have a hard time finding it again ah is that it oh my gosh i can't even find the chip it's really tiny. It's somewhere on, the, on uh, the, there it is, the bottom side of that wing. You can't even tell. But anyway, I just thought it was kind of different. And um, the fact that it was uh, a hanging one made me kind of, I mean, well, first the price made it stand out at $3.25. And the fact that it hung instead of stood on a table side definitely attracted me to it. I also grabbed this little vase uh it was only a dollar otherwise i probably wouldn't have i did like the colors a lot of the pink and the green for a dollar i was like why not i mean i was just um the one thing is though i will say that i would normally not pick something up that like this that wasn't marked on the bottom but again it was only a dollar so i kind of got carried away and just threw it in the basket Speaking of marked on the bottom, I only paid $3.50 for this, which is insane because it is marked Japan. Now, because of the price and the fact that the paint's in such good condition as it's done, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was a reproduction. So I was pretty surprised to turn it over and see uh, Japan hand painted. $3.50, the three footed vase, that was a steal. So I grabbed that. Next up, I snagged this butterfly trinket dish. I really like the colors. Uh, normally I see these, the ones that are made in Japan that are orange and black, um, but this green and yellow, I couldn't resist, especially because it looks like USA pottery. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is USA pottery. And it was only $6.40 since it was kind of hard to find and everybody loves butterflies. I mean, butterflies are pretty popular. Uh, I decided to grab it. Uh, I'm not sure how quickly it will sell. I kind of wanted to ask for more, but since I didn't have much proof of price, uh, I left it there, but I love that green. Another USA pottery, I grabbed this cow planter. <laughs> it just kind of had a funny look to it. It's been a long time since, I mean, it's been probably like two years since I picked up something like this. And it was only $5.60. Cow, cow planters usually sell pretty well um, since it was one I hadn't had before and the price was right. And I love it's like little flower. The fact that it's anthropomorphic and USA pottery is kind of different too. I feel like a lot of them are just the animal. Like it would just be the cow without the baseball hat and such. So I snagged that. I guess it's kind of a USA pottery kind of day because I also grabbed this chick planter. I only paid $5.95, which is a great deal. I've had the happy chick planter before. It comes in different colors. I've never had this exact one. It was in great condition and it usually sells pretty quick. So I felt like it was a safe bet, even though it's something I've had before. Um, the fact that it sells quickly and it's... Uh, pretty adorable it's harder to find them at a reseller's price honestly uh, a lot of them a lot of the times you see them they're honestly priced for more than i would sell them for online so next up i refuse to take an offer for this it's incredible it's super heavy 
um, which is why I would normally be reluctant to pick something like this up. It would cost a lot to ship it, especially if it's in a combined order. It's going to eat into my profit. Um, but I only paid $7 for it and I just thought it was so fun. I actually almost bought one of these for my stepmom who has like a bunch of planters and succulents and stuff a couple Christmases ago just because I, I thought it was so different. It is USA Pottery. Um, but for $7, it was a score. I priced it at 29 which is on the like a little bit of the higher average of the sold prices on these. But it's kind of hard to find them. I've actually never found one at a reseller's price. This is in my top three things I picked up today. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this ceramic basket. I love the contrasting colors. It is made in Japan. I only paid $8. I think it's going to sell quick. I only priced it at $30. And to be honest, I feel like I could have probably even gotten a little bit more out of it. I've never seen one like it. And it's in pristine condition. I absolutely adore the Art Nuevo uh, jewelry caskets, especially the miniatures. Now... A lot of the the normal size, the average size ones or the large size ones, the large size ones cost a fortune to ship. And honestly, they don't sell that well for me. They used to sell like crazy, especially the medium size. I used to pick them up all the time and they'd sell immediately. Now, I only pick them up if they're a certain price and that's like really, really cheap. But I love the miniature and the fact that this one's still got its lining partially intact is insane. I only paid $4 for it. I just think they're so sweet and romantic. Romantic. If the miniatures don't sell, I keep them. That's the rule of thumb. This is the one thing I picked up where I'm kind of like, why did I pick this up? It's really not my thing. But I only paid $2 for it, which is probably why I picked it up. Uh, I do like the glaze on it and the color on the inside. It was only two bucks. I priced it really cheap at nine just because, like I said, it's really not my style. So I don't really want it to sit around too long. Um, and, it, and it is not signed, surprisingly. Now, this one kind of goes along with the theme of the basket and the divided tray. Um, this dish I thought was pretty neat, too. I loved the pattern and the colors on it. It's also made in Japan, and it was only $4. So, uh, very neat piece although I'm now is that a hairline oh, it's a little little something something but I'm not going to be upset with it it's still very cool it's got kind of a checkerboard pattern to it which you know I'm a sucker for now it's almost Easter time so I am going to start picking some of these up as long as they're selling usually they sell really quick especially around Easter um there's the duck the chick the rabbit I usually just pick up the ducks and the chicks, the rabbits. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm so sick of seeing them. I see them online all the time. That's the thing. Um, and people charge crazy amounts for them. I usually sell them for like the lower on the average scale. Like I mean, if it's in pristine condition like this one is, I'll probably go 15, but mostly the time I sell them for like 13 to $14 each just to keep them moving because so many people are selling them. They're made by Lefton. They're an Easter favorite, and for this one, I only paid $4.75. And last but not least, I didn't get a lot of kitschy stuff on this trip, but at the end, I saw this planter. It's made by Grant Crest Japan, which is a brand that I normally don't see stuff out in the wild by. So cute. Uh, it definitely had some condition issues, some discoloration, some some dirt and like the crevices that are kind of hard to get to. I'm not going to charge much for it. I'm sure I'm positive this what sells for more than $25. I only priced it at $25 and I only paid $6.50 just trying to move it along. Um, I thought it was fun, but I don't feel like being the one to take the time to take the toothbrush and try and clean it out more. So planter as is uh, again, and it's that fun Easter theme and it's, different than what I normally see, which is what I've been trying to pick up. I've been really careful about getting different stuff, um, more variation, less things that I've gotten before and things that I think will sell quick or things that I can sell mar with like the margins that will sell quick. So that's everything I got. I only spent $104, which is awesome. So I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. when I continue this shopping trip. See you tomorrow.